Hey there! We are so glad that you are here and that you are taking an interest in our new Be Encouraged moments. Today we are going to be talking about preparing our hearts and our minds for Easter because it is right around the corner. Can you believe that? Um, we also have some fun suggestions for you mamas out there on how to share the story of Easter with your little ones. Great. Yeah. So what do you think of when you think of Easter? I think we all instinctively kind of go straight to the Easter morning. He is risen, the empty tomb, Sunday uh, Sunday dresses, you know, the really frilly dresses oh, yeah. and the hats and chocolate eggs and Easter egg hunts and dinner with the family and the list could go on and on and on and on. Um, the thing that I want to talk about today though is all the stuff leading up to Easter. Um, there's, yeah, there's so <laughs> much more. Um, this Sunday actually is Palm Sunday, which um, marks the triumphal entry of Jesus into Jerusalem. And there's, that's not it though. There's the whole week of Holy Week leading up to Easter that talks about Jesus' journey to the cross. And I just think that it's a really, really um, good story that we all need to be very aware of. And um, we all come from different backgrounds and different denominations. And so may have gotten different versions or no versions of this story. And so I wanna encourage you to go out and get familiar with the story. Last year, Jan and I did a podcast about Jesus' uh, journey to the cross. And um, the story was read on the podcast and I encouraged you to be still and to listen um, as I read the story to you. And um, I would highly suggest going and listening to that podcast. If you don't wanna to listen to the podcast, um, you can go and read it yourself. Um, down below, I will make sure to include um, not only the link to the blog that I read, but also the podcast as well, so that if you'd rather listen to it, you can. Um, the story came from Mary Fairchild, and it was a Holy Week timeline from Palm Sunday to Resurrection. Um, I think that it's really important that we understand the journey that Jesus took um, and what he went through to get to the cross. Um, as I've already said, Palm Sunday marks the start of, like I said, the, the entry into Jerusalem. But then there's more to it. Mm -hmm. um, there is Monday where Jesus clears out the temples. There's Tuesday where Jesus goes to the Mount of Olives. Um, we have Holy Wednesday, which there's not a whole lot about that story, but there's a lot of um, conjecture <laughs> as to what happened on that day. Um, Thursday, which is often referred to as Monday Thursday mm -hmm. um, in the church, um, is the Passover and the Last Supper. Um, and then on Friday, obviously, is Good Friday. And I think that's pretty common with everyone. Um, that is the trial, the crucifixion, and ultimately the death on the cross. Um, then you have Saturday in the tomb. And then obviously Sunday's the biggie, <laughs> um, the empty tomb. He is risen. Yeah. Um, I think that it's important for us to uh, break down this story and to understand this story because I want to put it in context. Um, I want you to think about your kiddos for a second. Um, God gave his only son to walk among us and to ultimately die a gruesome death on the cross to save us mm. from our sins, not his sins, our sins. Yeah. Um, talk about free and unconditional love. Talk about the ultimate sacrifice. Um, I think it's, it's just, it's, it's an unthinkable, it's just, I, you can't wrap your brain around it. It's just such a cool thing. Um, I'm gonna read scripture from Matthew 28 verses five through six. Don't be afraid. I know you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He isn't here. He is risen from the dead, just as he said he would. I think that is so powerful, so amazing. Um, it, it encompasses everything about this week. Um, one of the things I wanted to bring to you guys today, though, is, is this is a heavy story. Um, the week leading up to Easter. Easter is obviously pretty easy to explain, empty tomb, you know. But what, how do you tell your, talk to your kids about the crucifixion? Mm. How do you talk to your kids about the taxpayers and being thrown out of the temple? Um, so I wanted to bring you guys a really fun activity. And I'm going to shake a little box down here. And we've got these wonderful little eggs. I have them open. Normally they look like plastic eggs. But they all have little pieces in them. And they take your children through 
the journey of Holy Week. And there are 12 eggs inside the box. They're called resurrection eggs. Um, Family Life, I believe, is the first people to create this. If you go online and you Google um, resurrection eggs, you'll find millions Tons of things, of like yeah. super quick. Um, you can buy them on Amazon. I bought mine at Hobby Lobby. Um, you can also get them at um, uh, Oriental Traders. I'm not saying that you need to go out and buy these eggs. I'm just thinking that these eggs will give you an opportunity to break down the story in a way that is digestible for children. Mm -hmm. um, I've used these for years. I absolutely love them. Marley looks forward to them coming out every year. I'll share some pictures um, as we're talking of Marley playing with the eggs. Um, I'll also share some close-up pictures of the eggs as well. They have a lot of do-it-yourself eggs online as well. So if you don't want to go out and buy your own, you can do it that way. But like, for example, the first egg, it's got the donkey in it. I think we can all pretty much know what the donkey means. You've got coins, you've got um, a chalice, uh, you got coin, or you said coins, um, praying hands. And I think the coolest one, the one that you open up on Easter morning is empty <laughs> and it's a beautiful white egg and like i said all the eggs are different colors we've done easter egg hunts in our backyard with these eggs we've done easter egg hunts in our house i've gone so far as to put little lights inside of them that so is they, so cool they glow Love out in the garden um you can do those with um those break sticks as well where you break them you shake them up and you stick those inside oh, if you don't yeah. have the little lights um so obviously i you know i get a little creative with my easter egg hunts i want to encourage all of you to take this week, take this time to prepare your hearts and minds for Palm Sunday and then what's to follow Palm Sunday, which is not just Easter. It's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. There's so much that you can learn about. There's so much that you can learn with your children. And I want you to take this time and truly understand the ultimate sacrifice that was made for you. Mm. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. I really hope that you'll go out and you'll buy these eggs. They're they're available Hobby Lobby or wherever. Um, try it. It's fun. Even adults do it. We did it one time with a group of women, and they really enjoyed it. Some women didn't really know a whole lot about the Easter story. So this was really um, advantageous to them. But your kids are going to love it. They will. I will tell you. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Um, again, take the time. I always love to do challenges. Jan teases me. We do it on the podcast all the time. I challenge you mm -hmm. to go and read the story. Um, like I said, link is below. So go check out the link, read the story, go listen to the podcast, go out and get yourself some resurrection eggs or make yep. your own so that you can not only do the story and have your own reflections, but you can also do it with your children as well. And I just want to say I have very happy Easter, or early happy Easter. <laughs> yes, yes. All right. Thank you for joining us for our very special Be Encouraged Moments. <laughs>